Welcome back. All right, so again, it's Monday, so quick AHL video where we will discuss things going on around the American Hockey League. Uh, and, and they announced the Players of the Month. So your AHL Player of the Month is Andrew Podorowski of the Chicago Wolves. Uh, six games, five goals, nine assists, 14 points for him. So I believe he was the leading scorer in the AHL last year. Off to an amazing start this year as well. Uh, let's see, it's 140 points in 60 games. Yeah, it's not bad. So we'll see how long he stays in the AHL or when he gets called up, if he gets called up, and what that does. Uh, in Rochester, so if you're a Buffalo fan and you're excited about the now, the future looks pretty good too. Jack Quinn is the Rookie of the Month in the AHL. Six games, five goals, five assists for 10 points for Jack Quinn as he continues his really solid run. Paterka's been right there with him too. Uh, in Wilkes-Barre, Philip Lindbergh is the Goaltender of the Month, uh, 4-0. 1.71 goals against 942 save percentage. So Pittsburgh, a team that uh, has had its uh, its issues in goal over the last little while, Lindbergh may very well be the next one who ends up coming up and getting a shot at the net. Uh, it's to Smith and Jari this year. Who knows what next year brings, right? Uh, the AHL also announcing that they're joining Hockey Fights Cancer uh, with the NHL. I'm hoping they also do the purple jerseys that the NHL does. I have my Hockey Fights Cancer jerseys all set. Uh, of course, through this channel personally, I have uh, advocated for uh, the charity, the West Coast Kids uh, Foundation. I will link in the description to this video to them as well. Uh, talked to their one of their um, one of the heads of of that charity last week, and they're they're just great people. The money goes to a a good cause. Uh, so, in in the case of the charity that I support. Uh, it is money that goes to families who are dealing with their kids going through cancer treatments. There are other things as well. So basically, it just makes sure they've got food, they've got things taken care of, so they can, you know, deal with what they have to deal with without all of the extra stressors on top of that. So I think that's a pretty good charity to have. And uh, yeah, it's 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 something that I've supported. I supported last year. I know we did really well. We blew them away last year. Uh, hoping we can do that again this year as well. So look for purple jerseys for reviews and look for tie-ins on the channel uh, throughout this month. Uh, and, and again, you know, I, I've personally been donating to them periodically throughout the year because I know that charities uh, tend to, to kind of get pushed aside at certain parts of the year because people think, well, it's it's nice out and everything. But, you know, charities still need that, that money rolling. And I know food banks locally too. Uh, there are certain times of the year where they, they may be running dry because people still eat food, not just at Christmas. Um, so, and I'm the, no sarcasm meant in that whatsoever. That, that just, it's easy for, for those of us who are not uh, without to maybe just take for granted all of that. So again, West Coast Kids Foundation, I'll leave it, leave the, leave the link in the description below. And uh, that's what I do during Hockey Fights Cancer Month and beyond because Christmas is coming as well. And it'd be really nice if people who are dealing with this kind of stuff don't have to worry about all those extras while Christmas is coming, right? Uh, so the Ontario Rain, the reason I'm wearing this Rain jersey, and I have to say the black Ontario Rain jersey, having seen it in person, well, A, it doesn't have the sparkliness of the new Kings jersey. So it's still the the uh, the gray, not the sparkly, shiny silver. But again, AHL jerseys are from CCM. They're not from Adidas, so it's different. Uh, but Ontario looked great, and the fact that Abbotsford got a point against them on the weekend, I think is, uh, you know, imp impressive for Abbotsford, but we'll talk about them too. Uh, but Ontario looks really good. I was really impressed with Dursey. Uh, Turcott was out there, played pretty well. Uh, the game that I saw, Volalta was the goaltender. Um, not bad, and considering that he's not even really on the radar when you look at all the highly uh, touted prospects, maybe Volalta at some point ends up being a Kings backup, right? It's possible. Uh, but yeah, I was I was impressed with the team. I was impressed with how many players I knew, including Martin Furk. I, I do hope that he gets back to the NHL. But again, you do notice when you're at an AHL game that some of the players might be on the on the small side. That might be why they ended up in the AHL rather than the NHL. Uh, there was a game that was postponed on the weekend, San Jose versus Stockton. So when the Barracuda sends everybody up, uh, the, the game was, was uh, postponed due to roster constraints. From, from league protocols. So they may just not have had enough players to put anybody out on the ice. So that game has been postponed. There's been no makeup date made for that yet. Now, because the AHL 
is, you know, a lot of league that generates the kind of revenues that the NHL does, it would not be that surprising to see games get canceled this year in the AHL. And honestly, with, with protocols being as busy as they are at the NHL level, I would imagine they would be at the AHL level as well. Although, what helps them is they don't play that much during the week. They basically play on the weekends, right? So you have those extra days in between. So if you're, you have any kind of an issue on a Sunday, you have until Friday to get that fixed in most cases. Uh, Lehigh Valley, all alone. The only team left in the AHL that is without a victory. 0-5-2. So it's been a rough start to the season. So while Philly's done really well, and Philly's looked pretty darn good, uh, their, their AHL affiliation uh, not doing so well to start the season. But, you know, these things happen. And then with Abbotsford, the news out of Abbotsford, not just that they're 0-1-1 versus Ontario, which again was impressive. But what's, what's really news with them is that Seelovs plays the first game of those two. And then Spencer Martin plays the second game of those two. So what is going on with Mike DiPietro? Uh, they have a three goalie system going on here in Abbotsford and at some point something's got to give. So it is odd. Uh, it's not the end of the world, obviously, for Di Pietro, who's still 22 years of age. He's a young goaltender. But you'd have to think one of them eventually ends up getting sent down to the ECHL, right? And then the question becomes, which one? Now, Silov's looked really good in the game that I saw against Ontario, and he had the shutout the Sunday before that. So I, I don't think he's the one that's going down. I really honestly thought Martin was probably going to be in the ECHL goaltender. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what, what they end up doing and, and how that all works out. So there you go. Just a quick Monday look at the AHL. And I just I, I keep this quick with the bullet points. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.